The code breaker Lynn lands there. Ladies and gentlemen, live on UFC Fight Pass from the Waukesha Expo Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Anthony Showtime Pettis is proud to present the main event of the evening. Three rounds in the APFC flyweight division. Sponsored by Limitless and Smiles CBD. Sanctioned by the Wisconsin Department of Safety and Professional Services. Commissioner Mary Murphy Edwards. Assistant Deputy Commissioner Matt Reynolds. Our judges tonight are Larry Strupp, Gabe Sabatis, and Brandon Mason. The timekeeper is Mike Rogers. The cage side physician is Dr. Rick Barney. And your referee in charge is Tom DeVellis. And so the stage is set. The officials are in position. And the fighters are ready to shine. Ladies and gentlemen, for those here at the Waukesha Expo Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and for those watching on UFC Fight Pass around the world, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black, he stands five feet, five inches tall. Official weight, 125.4 pounds. Coming in tonight with a perfect record. Three fights, three victories, and no defeats. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Denny Moriarty! And across the cage, the opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with blue. He stands five feet, six inches tall. Official weight, 124 pounds. Coming in tonight with a professional record, five victories with one defeat. Fighting out of Zion, Illinois, Cody! The code breaker wins. Our gentleman, join me in the middle. Right. Right. We're back, defend yourselves all the time, obey my commands all the time. Do I touch calls? Do it now. Let's go do this. Tom Develis earns the honors of the APFC 5 main event assignment between two unbelievably highly touted flyweights, Dan Flex Moriarty and Cody the Codebreaker, Lynn. They have been all business through those stare downs. Dan is dialed in. Ben, you can cut the tension here with the knife, the crowd on their feet anticipating a war. This one is going to be one for the books. Cody Lynn taking the center. All professional finishes have come in the first round. Seven finishes across his amateur and pro career. Six subs, one knockout. A good kick right there. Dan Moriarty catches it. Balance from Codebreaker. Very much so, bouncing on that opposite leg. I mean, usually when it's caught like that, that high, you're going down. Lynn able to make the adjustments, but Moriarty here pushing his opponent against the cage. Good head position. Dan Flex Moriarty in the blue gloves with the black trunks. Cody Lynn with the red gloves and the blue and white trunks. Kids couldn't tell. Moriarty has the underhook here on the left side, doing a good job keeping it high. What that's gonna do is that's gonna paste Lynn's back against the cage. Keeping that le left underhook high, keeping your right foot on the outside. However, Lynn able to make the adjustments, and now Moriarty's on the opposite side. Dan Moriarty last time out was September of 2022. Cody Lynn's previous performance was March of this year. And he got a first round submission over Paul Buggin. Cody the Codebreaker, LFA experience. He's fought at the highest levels of the regional scene. Dan Moriarty, despite being in the uh, scene for over 10 years, only three fights professionally. You know, definitely took his time, but he's one of those guys that's always in the gym 24 seven. So he's always micro competing, so to speak, you know? Staying busy in the gym, constantly training, never really off. Any questions about the fighting spirit of Dan Flex Moriarty were answered when he took on Jet Shell at LFA 2122. He was knocked down and then instantly spun into a heel hook. That kind of wherewithal you simply can't teach, David. Very much so. You know, he had that body lock and he snuck a nice sneaky elbow in there in transition. And I think at the highest levels, that's where fights are won, in between the transitions. The striking in between transitions, elbows in between transitions, takedowns in between transitions. And that's what you're going to look for when you have two highly touted prospects like Moriarty and Lee. Midway. Midway through round number one. Tonight's main event is brought to you by Limitless and Smills CBD. 
Boy already did a good, great job creating space, landing a couple hooks. Excellent defense from both flyweights. They are aware of what the other one brings. Neither one of these guys want to give ground. Like, they're <laughs> like, even when they're not clinched, they were like, we're right here, we're fighting in the phone booth. So this is definitely going to come down to a battle of wills at some point if the fight keeps trending in this direction. Three five-minute rounds at the top spot of APFC 5. Cody, the code breaker, Lynn lands there. Oh! Down goes Moriarty! The code breaker swarming! That's it! That's it! The first round of TKO! Breaker Lynn, 23 years young. He took his time, went airborne, down goes Dan Flex Moriarty. And Moriarty tried to fight in this, tried to survive, but Cody Lynn swarmed him with a barrage of strikes. That was all she wrote. The code breaker breaks another. You can't chop it up better than that. A first round stoppage. That makes it 100% all of Cody Lynn's stoppages still within the first five minutes. A beautiful sequence for him. We set it inside to Michael Hansen to make that main event finish official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Tom DeVellis, called the stop of the contest at three minutes and one second of the very first round for your winner by knockout, Cody the Code Breaker!